Hi guys, this is Ifra Movanis and in today's tutorial we're going to make this sitting woman fondant figure. So let's get started. So for this tutorial we'll use Ovani sculpting tools, 50 grams of red fondant, 90 grams of ivory fondant and 80 grams of any color fondant. Now we're getting a lot of questions about the fondant we're using in our tutorials, so I'm going to leave you a link in the description box down below for the best suitable fondant for sculpting. And now let's get started. And before we get started, I would like to point out that there are two kinds of fondant faces that you can attach to the figure we are making today. The first one on the left is the regular cartoon-like simple face, and you can find a free tutorial on how to make this face at our website at ovanis.com. And the second one is a portrait character, a photo to fondant premium tutorial at ovanis.com. With this tutorial, you can learn how to sculpt your loved one fondant figure, copy it from a picture, and transform them into any character you like. And if you want to download this tutorial, press the first link in the description box. And now let's get started. So we are starting with the legs and we are going to take our 80 grams of any color fondant. Any leftover fondant or any color that you don't usually use is going to be just fine. And the reason is because we are just making the shape of the legs and they are going to be hidden underneath the dress. So it doesn't really matter what kind of fondant it is. So take the piece of the fondant, roll it in between your hands or on the table into this long sausage shape in which in the middle it's a little bit wider and it gets thinner on the sides. Fold it in half and place it on top of the base just like so. So we're making one leg on top of the other. The woman is sitting and her legs is crossed. And we are not making the details on the legs, obviously, because it's going to be hidden anyway. So just a little bit of shaping of the knee and our legs are basically ready. You can put a little piece of fondant underneath the leg just to hold the shape until it stiffens and that is it. And insert a skewer in the middle just like so and place it aside to firm up. So next is the body, so we are going to take the ivory colored fondant, approximately 80 grams, and take all the lines and the creases and place them all in one place and make the fondant as smooth as you can and we are looking for this rounded rectangle shape. And from this shape we are starting to shape the body. So make it thinner on the waist. Using your fingers, push out the breast. You can use your fingers, you can use sculpting tools. Again, here as well as the legs, we are just making the shapes and we're not getting into details because it's going to be hidden underneath the clothes. Pinch out the neck. So just smooth the fondant, do some less shaping. Don't forget about the back. You can add some details at the neck like all the indentations and the collarbone. It's not necessary, but I always like to do that because it's a little bit more realistic this way. And we are making a hole in the middle of our body with the skewer so we can place our body on top of the legs. Next, we are starting with the dress, so we are taking our red fondant and I'm rolling it out into approximately 2 to 3 mm thick. I'm cutting out a sort of a trapeze shape, which is a little bit rounded at the bottom and attaching it on top of the legs.
cut out the excess and I am cutting the excess only at the top part because I want to make the skirt look like, like a mermaid skirt so we need the fondant at the bottom and at the top part we are cutting off the excess and tucking the fondant underneath the legs and as you see I cut off the fondant only from one side because I want to create this flowing skirt effect create some folds like the fabric is folded on the floor Next is the top part, so again take a piece of red fondant, roll it out to approximately 2 to 3 millimeters thick, cut out a rectangle and wrap it around the body. Cut off the excess fondant from the skirt. By the way, you can do this before you're wrapping the body with the fondant, but and of course cut off the excess from the top as well. And again, don't forget the back, cut off the excess at the back as well. and cut off the shape of the top that you want. So 
so I want it to be like this straight cut so I'm just cutting the parts that goes near the arms Next, we are making the arms. So I'm taking the 10 grams of ivory fondant and we're going to use five grams for each arm. So take a piece of the fondant, roll it in between your hands into this long rope shape. Make it thicker on one end and a little bit thinner on the other. Pinch out an elbow approximately in the middle of an arm. Using your fingers, pinch out the hand, squeeze the fondant in between your fingers, just like so, and using an exacto knife, cut out the fingers. And the arm is ready and of course repeat the same with the second arm.
Next, we're going to attach the arms. So if needed, you can use a little bit of water to help you to attach the arm. So just place it at the shoulder area and smooth the fondant together. You can use your finger, you can use the Dresden tool, whatever works for you. Just really carefully blend the fondant together and smooth the arms. And to hide the seams, I'm adding shoulder straps. So just cut out two small long rectangles and attach them around the arms. And for the finishing touch, and of course it is optional, I'm going to take red food coloring and paint her fingernails. I just think it looks very cute and it adds more to the realism. And for the last touches, I'm adding some dry dust food coloring. So I'm taking like this dark red and just going over the edges and the folds just to add some dimension to the fondant. And the last detail, I'm making a necklace, so I'm just taking a small piece of fondant, rolling it in between my hands into this long rope shape, place it around the neck and painting with gold luster dust. And that is it, our sitting fondant figure is ready. So if you like the fondant figure we made today, please contribute to our channel by liking the video and subscribing. And as I said at the beginning of the video, this is the first option that you can make. And for the second option, and I'm really excited to talk about it because this is the best seller at Ovanis.com, this is the premium tutorial on making a portrait out of fondant. Okay, this is a product that changed the birthday cake and celebration cake entirely. And just imagine seeing your loved one face when he sees himself on a cake. 
you can make your child, you can make your husband, you can make a celebrity, you can make your child's head on a superhero's body. The possibilities are endless. And this is a truly, truly amazing product. And now for the surprise. We have a special coupon only for our YouTube subscribers. 10% off on all the tutorials on our website and the sculpting tools. So all you need to do to receive this coupon code is to write this code in our website at checkout and you are all set. So thank you for watching this tutorial. All the details are in the description box down below and at ovanis.com. If you want to watch more tutorials about fondant figures and your guys like us have a passion for cake fondant decoration, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. This was Eve from Ovanis. See you in the next video.